Hello and welcome to let's play of my game called Lisp Rock, which was made for Lisp Game Jam of Autumn 2024. So this game is in the genre of roguelike, so you are playing for the rogue character that is uh, delving in into some mysterious dungeon to reach level 10, or rather, rather level 11. Uh, so what is waiting for them in level 11 is another story, it might be some uh, huge treasure or that might be their fate uh, well that's for some another time but uh, for now to beat the game you have to descend to level 11 well without dying um, so yeah when the game starts it show you, shows you this nice helpful uh, uh, he like help uh, window with the key bindings that you can use for uh, controlling your character so we will um, get them later. So to remove this uh, window you gotta press escape or the question mark or F1. So after press pressing any of those keys uh, you see the character that is in the dungeon. So below you can see the message log. So as always in all roguelikes it just prints in plain English what is going on in the uh, in the game. Uh, so on the uh, right you see the stats of uh, your character, so you see the health points, the mana points, some combat stats, etc. So you can hover your mouse uh, over some tiles uh, of, like near you, so you can see there's the like the floor tiles, so you can move with uh, uh, like with different options, you can move with regular WASD keys, uh, you can move with regular arrows, you can move with uh, VI keys like H, J, K, L. So using any of those you can move around. So you can move like in four directions in vertical and horizontal, you can move diagonally by pressing Q or E, or uh, if you're using V keys it would be Y and U. So yeah, let me go here. Oh, and we already see some monster that is obviously attacking us so let's maybe try and attack it uh, um, too so to do that we will just have to move to the tile uh, where it uh, stays so we can hover mouse over that uh, monster so we can see it is a lizard warrior it got some uh, combat stats as well uh, so we can press uh, in that case a or if you're using V key bindings H, so we can just uh, attack it. So we do some damage to this monster, so you can see its HP is lowering. So we can do this again and again, and hopefully, yeah, at some point we kill the monster, and as a result, we got our experience points raised, so we can uh, level up. We actually did level up, so we just have to pick the, so, so the stat uh, to raise. So there are three major stats, it's strength, dexterity and intelligence. So strength uh, affects health points, it just increases your health points, it increases your armor and damage. Uh, the dexterity uh, increases your evasion and accuracy, and intelligence increases your mana and the vision, uh, that is the region around you which is like lightened, lightened up, so you can see what's going on in those uh, neighboring tiles. Uh, so regarding those uh, combat parameters, let's quickly go over those. Uh, so let's just go over that uh, table. So movement speed is pretty obvious. The more it is, the more you move relative, like uh, the faster you move relative to the other uh, characters in the game, to the monsters. So the evasion is important defensive stat. Uh, evasion, uh, when someone hits you, uh, the, your evasion is checked against the attacker's uh, accuracy. So if your evasion is lower than attacker's uh, accuracy, then uh, it would have, uh, like the attacker would have more chance to hit you. If your evasion is greater, uh, the attacker would have lower chance to hit you. Uh, I mean, it's not like 100%, but uh, yeah, it uh, drops off off pretty quickly. So for instance if you have like 100 of evasion and attacker got like 10 of accuracy he would probably uh, be able to hit you like one, I don't know, 20 times. 
so that's that. Uh, then you have the blockchains. Um, so currently it is zero because I don't have the uh, shield. The character doesn't have a shield. Uh, then, uh, yeah, if uh, like blockchains is expressed in percents, so if uh, it is, for instance, 25 percent, then average, uh, on average, in like one in four hits would be blocked by you. So that means that uh, the damage would completely uh, like um, don't go to you. Uh, so then we have armor. Uh, armor is another important defensive characteristic. Uh, armor is uh, the value that shows how many damage you will receive if you actually do uh, receive it. So, for instance, if you get like uh, 10 damage and you have 100 of armor, then it would neglect almost all of that. Uh, and then again, if you have a little armor, like 10, and if you receive, for instance, a huge damage, like 100, then you would probably receive something around 95 or something like that. Uh, so yeah, that's the armor. Uh, then we have some uh, offensive parameters like uh, attack range. So uh, it is measured in tiles. So this uh, currently means that uh, I have melee damage. So I can only attack uh, the guys that are uh, on the neighboring tile. So then we have attack speed, that's pretty obvious. I currently have 2.5 per second. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's quite fast because I have dagger equipped. Uh, let's go to that uh, later. Uh, then I have accuracy. That's the characteristic that is compared to uh, the monster's evasion when I attack the monster. Uh, and then I have obvious minimal damage and maximum damage. So when my hit actually connects uh, you know, the uh, actual damage is calculated randomly between those two uh, values. Uh, so that's that. Uh, at that point we might want to uh, increase intelligence because it increases the uh, like the circle of light around our character. So if we move now you can see that it became slightly greater. So we uh, actually see one tile further that would be important. So another important thing is inventory. You can access it by hitting I key. Uh, so you can see that we have uh, like some initial dagger uh, equipped uh, and it has actually pretty nice uh, stats. And we also have a bow. So let's uh, equip the bow. We can do that by pressing either two key or just pressing uh, that with the mouse. So now if we open it again, we can see that this short bow is uh, in fact equipped. Uh, so um, attacking with the bow is uh, slightly trickier, so we can do the same, we can just go on the tile, or rather try to go to the tile that has the monster. Or we can press the F key and then uh, there is this like white circle that shows where we want to attack. So we can again press with the mouse or press F again or press enter key and then uh, yeah we can see in the lock so uh, that uh, we can see nothing to shoot at. Uh, okay, so let's move around. Let's go to uh, let's explore that dungeon. So we can move in some another room. So we can you can see the item laying on the floor. So if we hover the mouse over it, we can see that it is a health potion. So we might want to grab it. Uh, to do that, we just step on that tile and then we press the G key, which means get or grab or whatever. So you can see that it is in fact picked up. So you can see another monster here, the Cobalt Warrior, and we can see the health potion here. So let's maybe try and kill that guy. Again, I'm standing like diagonally here, so I can press the E key or I can press U key. And by that, I can just attack it uh, via the diagonal direction. So let's hit uh, that key several times. And yeah, here we go. That uh, guy is dead. So let's grab this health potion and we can move further. So let's go to some another room. Okay, uh, some another guy came up. So again, let's press several times. The, yeah, and we see it's dead uh, uh, as well. 
Um, so let's move to some other room and we can see here a few important things. We can see the health potion. Let's grab it. Uh, we can see the scroll. So it is actually a scroll uh, that will allow us to cast some spells. Uh, so this uh, actual uh, scroll allows us to uh, cast the cripple uh, spell. This spell damages the enemy uh, without checking uh, for, uh, evasion or whatever. And and it also lowers its speed, so we can just run away from that monster. So running away is always an option, you don't have to kill every monster in the game, you can actually just try and run away from them. So let's also grab this uh, scroll, it would come in handy later. And then we can see these little stairs thingy, it means the uh, like stairs to another level, to level 2. So we can go over that and then press the, uh, the greater sign, that's shift uh, that, and then we uh, descend to the second level. So we can uh, like also explore that, uh, we can go to another room. Uh, so let's maybe try and cast that spell. Yeah, we can see the skeleton uh, warrior. It's actually one of the easiest um, monsters in the whole game. So we don't want to uh, like uh, use that uh, valuable spell on that monster. So let's just uh, hit it with our, uh, our bow. So it is uh, done. So let's go here. Okay, so let's maybe try and use uh, this... Um, yeah, let's maybe just shoot at this guy here and then shoot again and then again. And yeah, he is dead and we gain some experience. So let's this time pick uh, dexterity because it would increase our evasion and accuracy and that's an important combat stats. So yeah, we can see a lot of stuff going on here. We can see another monster, the goblin warrior. It's also quite easy uh, monster. So let's just, yeah hit it a couple of times and he's dead. So then let's grab this potion and then we can see the another cripple scroll and then we see another cripple scroll. Okay, so we got plenty of those. Okay, so this is quite... Um, this guy is quite uh, scary because it's the troll warrior. It got uh, huge damage and yeah, he can damage us, but hopefully he is slow. Let's slow him a little further by using our cripple scroll. So we can do that by selecting inventory and then just uh, picking any of those cripple scrolls. And then we have again this um, interface with white uh, like rectangle, so we can press uh, it on that guy. And yeah, we can see that he's crippled for one damage, that's not much, but uh, what's more important, that his speed is currently halved. So if he will try to run at us, he wouldn't be able to catch us. Uh, now we have this uh, monster, Lizard Warrior. Uh, lizard Warriors are uh, not, uh, well, they don't do a lot of damage, but they are very fast. So it might be a good idea to also use this scroll on this guy. So let's do that and let's try to run away. As you can see those guys are stayed, uh, standing there so they are much slower this time but yeah this lizard guy is quite fast uh, by default so it is still catching up with us. So let's just grab the stuff and just quickly run away. Uh, as I said before running away is always an option. So we're now at the level 3, so we can explore that as well. Uh, so what do we have here? We have this skeleton archer, that's a very easy enemy. Let's shoot him a couple of times. And yeah, and now we got this uh, item. So let's pick it by uh, pressing G and we got the common armor. So that's some simple armor. As we can see on the left, uh, it is um, picked on the level 3, which we are currently at and it has plus 16 evasion so we don't have any armor right now so let's maybe try and put that on so if we look now uh, it is equipped and our um, evasion is uh, it became actually greater so now it is 27 okay so let's move further let's grab this potion and yeah let's go to another room Okay, and now we got another lizard guy. Uh, okay, let's try and kill it. Um, okay, yeah, so I'm running a little low on health. So let's maybe use a health potion to, uh, well, heal a little. 
uh, and yeah, it was uh, not very much uh, points in that health potion because they are always generated randomly. So let's just, uh, well, drink another. Okay, so that's a little bit better, at least or more than 100. Okay, so let's move further. Okay, we got another lizard guy, so let's try and kill that one as well. Okay, and we got some armor here, so this is the magic armor. So uh, all items in the game has great, so they are common. Uh, great, which is the most basic. Then there is magic um, items, which have like more magic properties, and then there are rare um, items which have the most um, magic properties. So if we compare that, this common armor only have plus 16 to evasion, and this one has two stats, plus 13 uh, to max damage and plus 23 to armor. So thinking, yeah, picking between those, this uh, is kind of more defensive and this one is more offensive, so let's maybe put that on. Okay, so now we can see that our max damage is whooping 24, and yeah, but our evasion uh, dropped uh, to 11. So yeah, let's uh, dive further, let's grab the potion, and yeah, here we go. So we uh, circled back to that room where we started, okay, we actually had to go here, but no, no problem. Okay, so let's just try to evade those two guys, the archer, the goblin archer and uh, the goblin warrior. We have another skeleton here, let's just run away and yeah, let's grab the stuff and without fighting any of those guys, just go... Um, go to the next level but uh, let's just check out the lock I think I am overwhelmed yeah I am overburdened because uh, I actually have a lot of stuff in my inventory so yeah that's kind of a kind of a problem so as you can see we have like all the slots here from like 1 to 0 and a B and C and that's that that's the maximum uh, amount of items you can have in your inventory that's actually uh, 13 okay so let's go to the next level and here we are the fourth level so let's go and explore that so let's shoot that guy okay so we did it in one shot uh, so let's mm, let's try and increase strength now. It would increase our max um, health and uh, damage a little. Okay, so we can see another item here is the common helm, so let's grab it. We don't have... oh yeah, we uh, to actually grab that, uh, considering that we are overburdened, we have to throw something away. And to throw an item away, we have to press the T button. Uh, here we can see the title, throw away item. So we can throw away some uh, health potion from early levels because they have less points in them. So we can see on the left the level where we picked that up. So let's throw away that one from level one. Okay, so let's now grab that helm, have a look. So plus 28 armor, that's quite nice actually. Let's equip that and let's go further. So what do we have here? Uh, yeah, we can grab yeah, actually, let's drink the potion and we will have... Yeah, let's drink another potion. So we'll have more uh, place in inventory. So we can grab that and that. Okay, cool. Let's go to another room here. And what do we have? <coughs> um, okay, let's maybe just run away from here. I don't like these guys. Um, okay, so yeah, this is awkward. We can't go further without killing that guy. So, well, yeah, let's maybe try doing that. Okay, so here is the exit. We would want to grab those gloves. It's quite uh, important. So, uh, yeah, we can't quite get them because we are overburdened. So let's throw away uh, this one, perhaps. Oh no, I don't want to throw away the fireball scroll. It's a very important thing. Let's th throw away this health potion. Okay, so let's grab the gloves and... Do you know what? Let's just use the fireball scroll on those guys. Um, 
So to do that, we just uh, open inventory and then pick that item. Then we have, again, this uh, interface uh, for targeting. Important thing is that fireball um, spell also uh, affects you. So if you, like, uh, target it here or here, you will damage yourself as well. So you gotta, uh, like, explode it a little bit uh, on the distance, like here. Uh, it's a range of... Um, of like of, of guys affected by that uh, spell is three by three tiles so if we do it here it would damage only those two guys so as you can see in the lock the fireball explodes then this guy gets certain damage and this guy also gets certain damage uh, unfortunately it's not uh, it's not enough to kill those guys but we can always shoot at them right so that's yeah we killed that one and then uh, and then we killed that one. Okay, cool. So now we can maybe grab that and that. No, we can't. Okay, let's go to the next level. So now we are on the level 5, and that's quite the important... Um, uh, point in the game because um, in that level and um, on all further levels you get more heavy like more uh, dangerous enemies so before we only have like little pesky guys here we will have some serious like real serious guys like this uh, wisp warrior so if we will just head him right on or uh, you can see uh, like my hp drops lower and lower so i would have to drink some potions here uh, maybe even another one and uh, maybe another one and then let's maybe try something else so what we can do here um we can cripple that guy and then run a little bit uh, further and shoot him right let's do just that so let's uh, cast cripple on that and then go here and then just shoot the guy right we can see it is running towards us but Hopefully we can just keep running away. Okay, so we're dealing some serious damage, but as you can see, yeah, we did 23 physical damage, but uh, it's still alive. As you can see, there is no um, like combat stats for this guy, because uh, the thing is, you can see combat stats of only the enemies that have lower level than your intelligence and our current intelligence is two this guy is obviously uh, i mean he's from level five so he has level five so we cannot see his stats we can only see that well he's alive so let's shoot again we do another 13 damage and that's still not enough so let's shoot again we miss let's shoot again and we still haven't killed them because we still miss and the thing is we're missing because we have accuracy of 16 and he has a lot more of evasion he has probably something about 40 or 30 something like that so yeah we just have to keep shooting at that guy um so yeah that might just take quite a while oops so yeah let's okay we finally killed it and it got us uh, so many experience that we leveled up so let's maybe uh what do we do let's raise our dexterity so our accuracy becomes bigger okay so now we can shoot at that guy and yeah he's pretty fast so let's try the same tactic let's use cripple scroll on that guy and just run somewhere here and then just shoot it um Okay, that is not very fruitful, so as you can see, uh, this guy is um, like near us, so it does some damage, so let's maybe drink some potion here, and yeah, okay, he's finally done. Okay, so let's go further, as you can see, there was only two enemies, but uh, yeah, it was quite hard already. Uh, so yeah, as I said, level 5 is kind of the... Uh, tipping point of the game so here we have some skeleton he's very easy so let's grab this potion and go further so from level five and uh, further we should be really really careful at what we are doing and maybe not spam uh, like movement keys as i do it okay so we managed to kill this lizard warrior so let's try and kill this demon here 
Oh, let's just shoot at the guy. Okay, we got another demon because they're very fast and then they have like big vision range, so they always they can run around and just flank you. Um, okay, so this becomes problematic. So let's maybe drink some potion here. Okay, we are at full health. And let's try and kill that guy. And yeah, we did it. So let's raise dexterity again and just try and run away here. Uh, it's kind of almost possible. So let's just go here. Okay, so here's the exit and there's a lot of guys here. So let's try and make our way here. Okay, we might want to grab this scroll and then just go next level. Okay, that's level six. We got it. So let's drink some potion here and yeah, grab another and go explore some rooms. So what do we got here? Oh, wow. Yeah, maybe that's... Okay, uh, let's grab this axe and see what that is. So we got plus four to minimum damage, plus four to maximum, and plus to attack speed. It's not very, very helpful because right now we have equipped the bow, which gives us plus 50% to accuracy. So if we unequip it, we would have nine accuracy. So... Yeah, that's not very good. We would probably wouldn't hit anything. Oh, we also have to uh, put on that gloves. Uh, they get plus 0.1 attack speed. That's not a lot, but that's something. So what can we do here? We probably want to throw away that axe because it's kind of not very useful. And what do we do? So we have two troll warriors. That's a very serious situation. And we have two cobalt warriors, which are not... Uh, very dangerous but uh, still so what can we do here we could probably run away from those trolls because they are slow so let's do just that let's just move here and try and run away let's go to this room okay this room is dead end so let's try and go here into this corridor and yeah we got this oni warrior and that's actually the most dangerous uh, enemy in the game so if you see that guy you pretty much are done so we might try and use the cripple scroll on him so he wouldn't be able to catch us and try and run away but as you can see even with cripple he is pretty fast and he's running towards us so let's just try and run away let's grab this amulet and yeah okay this is now getting problematic okay okay there's a troll here Tr the troll crusher that's even harder and more serious than the usual troll so let's just try and run okay okay i have five xp so let's sorry H hp so let's drink this potion and then maybe try and grab this one and no i haven't managed it so this oni warrior which is extremely dangerous just managed to one shot me okay so that's that that's all for this let's play video i hope you would be more careful and uh yeah to just uh, get to the level 11 and beat uh the game so you can grab uh, the game uh, from the link uh in the this video description so subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed uh thanks for watching and bye